What is up everyone, it is me Sivo. In today's video we are going to be doing um, a Discord bot series. So I'm going to be going through the basics. Anyways, let's go. We are using Discord.py. I'll show you how to install that in a sec. But um, yeah, let's get into it. First up, you're going to need an editing software. I'm using Visual Studio Code. Once you have installed that, just learn how to install Python and all that on it. There's videos on YouTube, it's very simple to do. Now once we have done this, we are going to have to install Discord.py. Make sure you have got a file already on it. So just go click the little file thing, do main.py, and then um, and then click enter, and you have got your file like I do. So now let's install Discord.py. We do this pretty simple. We're gonna have to use the 2.0 version, which is the newest version. Okay, to install this, you're just going to paste in this. I will leave it down in the description for you guys to install. You're just gonna install. It. I've already installed it, so it's just gonna overwrite it. But once you have installed it, make sure you um restart visual studios otherwise it won't work now once we have done that we can start coding uh the bot but first we're gonna have to get the bot's token and make the bot itself so head over to discord developer uh i'll leave this down in the description as well go to um you should be presented on this screen uh click new application and then create your bot give it a name and once you have done that it's going to come up here i've got two because i was testing stuff so you're going to open it up you're going to go to bot you're going to just call it any of what you want to call it. And then you're going to go down to Privilege Gateway Intense. You're going to enable these two. Uh, you can enable this one if you want. I recommend, yeah, enable that one as well. And um, over here you're going to see um, everything should be fine. You don't have to touch any of that. Now you have to invite your bot to your server. You do this by going to OAuth2. Go to UI, URL Generator. Click uh, Bot. Bot to Commands. And Administrator. And then you're just going to copy that URL, you're going to paste it in, and then you're going to add your bot to the server. Uh, once you have done that, you're going to head over back to bot, you're going to go to token. If you don't see a token, it says reset, just reset it. And then you're just going to copy it, and we're going to use that in a bit. So now head back over to your editing software, and we're just going to import a few things. So we're going to do import uh, discord, and then we're going to do from discord.ext. Ex oh that's not a dot is it dot ext we're going to import commands as we're going to be oh okay now with okay now with discord.2.0 you're going to have to use the intents now it used you used to not have to include intents but you do so we're just going to do commands dot bot um command underscore prefix so this is the prefix when you use the command so what you put in front of the front of the what you type so um if we do, we're just going to use an exclamation mark. Now we're going to do intents uh, is equal to discord uh, discord dot intents, and then we're just going to do dot all just like that. All right, now we're going to do bot. Uh, actually, no, we're going to do an on ready. So we do this by doing at bot dot event, and then we're going to do async on underscore ready. Not bad async def on ready and then um you're just gonna do print bot is online and then we're gonna have to run the bot so we do this by just doing bot dot run and then we're just gonna run it and put our token inside there simple as that now we play this bot so if we just um do python main dot pi it's gonna do that but that's my bad. It will work for you guys. It's not working for me because it's not running it as a Python script. If you don't do that, just right click, click and run Python file and terminal. Just like that. And it's going to say discord.client, gateway, blah, blah, blah. And it's going to say bot is online. If we head over to our Discord. Um, it will say, I've just got some stuff on the screen. It will have our bot online over here. So now let's make a command. So how we make a command, it's pretty simple to do. We just do at bot.command, not a capital B, at bot.command. Uh, make sure you put two brackets when you use the command, uh, otherwise it won't work. Async def, and then we're just going to put in ctx inside here. So this is for basically short for content or context. And um, we're just going to uh, do async def. Async def, wait, oh no, I forgot to give it a name. I'm forgetting everything. We're going to give it a name so we're going to make a ping command so this is what you have to type in the in the discord chat for um well to receive the message we're about to uh input so we do await so await basically awaits it into discord await ctx dot send and then we're going to um we're going to send 
Pong. Simple as that. Now, if we run it, uh, if we rerun the bot, so let's play. It's going to do its thing. And then we're going to go over to Discord. Now, if we do ping, it will say Pong. You can also do a dot reply. So if we do dot reply, uh, reply, and we do Pong, uh, and then when we rerun the bot, uh, it will give you a reply message. So I will show you that. So if we do ping, it will reply to you and say Pong. It looks, it looks a bit better. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Next video, we will probably go over more advanced stuff. Maybe some on messages. So basically you type a message in chat without any prefix and it will send a message. Or yeah, well you'll find out. Or maybe slash commands actually. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, bye.